Welcome back to the garage here guys at Alpine Garage Sports. My name is Chris, I am your host for this show. We are local here to Colorado and old school bus fans. If you have not subscribed, this is a great time to do it because it is getting set off. Now, we just did a video this morning about Sean Lewis's press conference where he said that everyone gets a clean slate. He hasn't looked at old film of any of the running backs or really anybody on the offense for that matter because he wants people he wants to see them in his scheme. He doesn't want to judge them based off of past experience, right? That is very refreshing to hear from a coach. Now, that said, we had a lot of players from last year's team that fled because they were afraid that they would get cut or lose their scholarship or that they wouldn't start. And what's left from last year, I think, are some of the best players that we had on the University of Colorado team to begin with. And honestly, they have a lot of fortitude because that was a very jarring thing. It set off waves through college football because, you know, people aren't used to seeing film of coaches walking into a room like that and talking like that, even though we all know it happens. So that said, there are some under, I'm going to call these folks underdogs. These are people from the University of Colorado that maybe were written off when coach came in. I don't know. I'm not saying coach did that. I'm just saying that you know, we were expecting, we see the transfer portal, you know, we're number one or number two in the transfer portal. We're, we're very highly ranked in the recruiting portal and we're expecting big things this year, but we have a lot of diamonds on this team from last year's team. And I want to expose those. I want people to see that because you see a lot of media on the guys that are coming and for good measure, because these guys are really good that are coming. They're going to make us a way better team. We had some diamonds from last year's team that I wanted to call out. Today, we're talking about Charlie Offerdahl. So Charlie Offerdahl, number 44 with the University of Colorado Buffaloes, is a walk-on running back. And he also did a little bit of returning last year as well. Now, that said, he was super dynamic. I'm going to show you some film from last year's spring game. And keep in mind, this is a spring game. But he also played in several games last year. He set a walk-on rushing record for the University of Colorado with 150 yards last year as a walk-on. No one has ever had that at the University of Colorado. So kudos to Charlie Offerdahl. And when you see him, he runs with abandon. I mean, this guy is, he, he's not a huge guy, but he almost runs a little bit like a fullback. He's super exciting to watch. And I wanted you to know a little bit about him because when we're talking clean slate, this gives Charlie the opportunity to really get in there and make some waves. So a little bit about Charlie. He's 5'11", 185. He is from Colorado. He's actually from the Denver area, and he played in the Denver area as well. So he is local, local, local to Colorado. And then he walked on to the University of Colorado, and there you are. Here he is. And one of the cool things about him is that this dude is a super smart guy. When we're talking about people who can understand a complex offense that Sean Lewis is bringing, this guy could be one of those guys. He made the Pac-12 academic honor roll. And he's got over a four-point GPA, and he's studying molecular, cellular, and developmental biology, which, oddly enough, is exactly the same major as my daughter is studying at CU. So, well, they don't even know it, but they actually could be classmates, potentially, as well. This guy has got the world in the palm of his hand. He can play football for the University of Colorado at a high level. He's a really super smart dude that's going to graduate with a degree that could change people's lives. For our football team, these guys are tantamount to heroes. They are, they are living their life to their fullest. And when you see him play, you can tell that he loves taking advantage of every opportunity he has to show his skill on the football field. And he has lineage. His dad actually played defensive back for the University of Washington and also had some training camp stints with some NFL football teams. So he has some lineage there and you can tell that this guy is hungry. He wants to make the most of his college experience. And it looks like Coach Lewis is going to give everyone an opportunity to do that. And even Coach Prime even said, hey, he's gonna have a walk-on camp a little bit later on so he can kind of take a look at Colorado talent. So this is incredible, guys. This is really fun. I wanted you to know about some of these players. We're gonna do this a little bit more. We're gonna pick players that are returning to the University of Colorado that aren't getting the same press as these guys that are coming in and kind of balance the field out before we get to spring practice so that you can see if every coach on our team takes the same path as Coach Lewis and is honestly going to take this group of men 
and allow them to compete for positions, then this is going to be a very interesting spring. I want to thank Charlie Offerdahl for being such a great buff, and I want to thank the coaching staff for allowing everyone to have an equal opportunity to try to make this team. That is a wrap from Alpine Garage Sports. If you like this, please, please subscribe. We have the best subscribers in all of Buffland, and you could be one of those too for the low price of free. And if you haven't heard, we coming.